Good morning, everyone. We are now to our second destination of vacation, and that is house sitting for the people that I also nanny for and also dog sitting. So we got our usual peach refreshers, except this one has the little popper boba balls in it, and it's really good. What are the boba ones? Are they strawberry? strawberry yeah. It's really good. They actually gave us the boba straws, which is an improvement from the one that Kate tried. <laughs> and yeah, today we're just kind of moving in here and like relaxing and settling into the house. And the dogs have accepted Kate as their new leader. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because you're in my usual seat. <laughs> and yeah, that is the start to this vlog. Oh, I didn't do my intro. Hey guys, my name is Haley. <laughs> but yeah, nothing else exciting is happening today. We have more plans for later on this week though, so we'll keep you updated. Henry, are you comfy? <laughs> yeah. Augie's over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. <laughs> We are essentially college students with all of our ramen and pizza rolls, and we are hard boiling eggs. We are obviously pictures of health. Follow us for more health tips. Hello, we have actually left the house because we were basically falling asleep for the last like two hours, and we figured we should get out of the house and do something either outdoors even though it's 90 degrees and we're kind of melting after being out here for three minutes <laughs> so we're doing an evening hike so we're going on an evening hike and we're also going to check out another goodwill in my area because we need kate to buy 50 more books from each of the stores <laughs> that we've been to so that's what we do in Hello, I didn't vlog anything of dinner, but we got Chinese food and now we are on an evening hike because it's actually not 90 degrees right now Yeah, it's cool down. for the first time today. So I kept joking in the Chinese restaurant. I was like, we need to eat for at least two hours. It cool <laughs> but it actually worked. We're also in like the shade and stuff too. Yeah. So that is helping a lot. Can we go pod? Go pod? Oh, thanks, Aki. Hello, we are back at the house that we are house sitting at. We are with the doggos as the, the clip I just showed and we had a fun hike. It actually wasn't as sweaty as it was earlier, so that was nice, but we're probably gonna start a K-drama tonight is what I'm thinking just for the sake of us not watching K-pop every three seconds, but yeah, maybe I'll get clips of that. Maybe I won't ever look at my phone again for the evening. I'll let you know either tonight or tomorrow. We are starting crash landing on you and we are ready to sob. Right? Woo! Right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh, you look so funny. You're gonna watch it with us. He's literally watching the TV. <laughs> only my second K-drama. Let's go. I'm ready to sob.
hello we have gone little free library shopping essentially and we are going to see this cute little harry potter one that we found in a town near me we spent a lot more time at the coffee shop than we planned to because we ran into a friend of mine who knew who kate was <laughs> from my videos <laughs> which was hilarious so we talked to him for a little while so that was an unexpected social activity that we did but we were on our way to get lunch and do a bunch of little free library hopping because we have a lot of them in this area so that is context for what's about to happen <laughs> Oh, it's even got little signs. Little Weasley Library. Oh my god, they have an Instagram. Here, follow them on Instagram. Wait, that's adorable. Oh, These look like kids' books. I know. These look like the adult books. They look cute. Thumbnail. We might actually... Sorry, we're on a busy road. We might actually get a book. Found The Stranger by Oliver Camus, which I'm going to read for everyone. And Kate has two of the Hunger Games books. And I feel like a bad person because I didn't bring my books yeah. with me because this one's very far from my house. I have some <laughs> random books in the trunk I could add. <laughs> True. <about it. laughs> we need to stop by my house to grab more. Yeah, no, I have a bunch of books that I could put in the little free libraries that we might go to later that are closer to my house. So we're not bad people just stealing books from the little free libraries. <laughs> I feel like a thief. <laughs> Hello, I don't even remember what the last, I think it was at the Little Free Libraries. We ran to the mall to see if they had any K-pop albums in our FYE, and they didn't. They literally had like BTS merch, but no BTS yeah. albums. They had Follow by Monsta <laughs> They had Follow by Monsta X, but it was like almost $40, and I was like, I'm so sorry, Monsta X. <laughs> but we did get bubble tea which is what was it called butterfly peach yeah butterfly peach and it's really good i normally go for like green apple with bubble tea with the places that are around me but this is very good big fan <laughs> hello we are little free library hopping i think one of the last things i filmed was bubble tea and then we were doing <laughs> little free libraries then but we are now going around my actual town yeah. This is number two, and this one actually has books. The other one did not. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what's in here, but let's look. It's very stuffed. And third little free library down, and I got a book by this author that I remember being a thing on booktube four or five years ago, I want to say. It was a while ago. It was Paolo Bacagalupi. It was apparently sci-fi. So I also got rid of a bunch of books, which was the goal. And now we are headed back to the house. And we are back in our natural habitat of watching TXT six feet apart on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's over there somewhere. Augie's here with me. And we're probably going to be here for the rest of the night. It's like 8 p.m. <laughs> Hello. I literally almost said good morning. And it's not. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> but today is the day we're planning on going up to a city north of me to go book shopping. We have two bookstores in mind, one of those being half price books. So we're about to run to my house and grab all of the books I'm unhauling. If you saw my unhaul, you know it's a lot of books. So we're gonna go do that. We keep saying we're gonna leave earlier and then end up not leaving the house until 1 or 2 p.m. We're watching Crash Landing on You, which is way too long. The <laughs> episodes are all are like an hour and 20 or 30 minutes. They're so long. So we keep being like, oh, we need to la watch two or three episodes a day. and then they're all like movie length so we're basically watching three movies a day yeah, we, we need to do some catch up later we do so i think tomorrow's gonna be our catch up day but yes that is what we are up to hello we have just got two half price books and we honestly we have a back seat full of books we honestly hit a bunch of rain and like a storm on the way up here and we were like do we even go up there because it's like a 40 minute drive and then it disappeared within 10 minutes so welcome to ohio the storms <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go exchange some books <laughs> and hopefully buy some more hey, this is a theater kid. is it have I read a Becky Albertelli? Um, is that I'm... Simon? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. So we just gave Half Price Books all of our money. 
So, I think I just bought the most amount of books that I've ever bought in one go in my entire life. I We didn't count them. I'm scared to count them. There's it's, bags full. It's back three here. bags, but she packed them she like packed them. them. <laughs> so, we uh, had a credit for like $75, and we spent over $300 before she put in the $75 yeah. she, she said $300, I was like... I was like, that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like 200 something. And I was like, that sounds slightly better. A little bit better, yeah. So we just gave half price books all of our money. I finally bought a bunch of books that I'm actually excited for. In yeah. the other places, you were buying a bunch of children's books. Yeah, that's that's the only things I read. Yeah. <laughs> and so I finally got a bunch of stuff that I actually want to read or like things that Kate has read in the past that I now want to read that I wasn't interested in because I wasn't reading contemporary type things. So yeah. We have so many books. We're going to go back to my house and my dad's going to be like, did you even get rid of books? Because I think you came back with the same amount of books <laughs> that you left with to exchange. So technically we did exchange them. Yeah. And we were going to go to another bookstore today. But that uh, bookstore uh, is literally three floors. And Half Price Books was one floor. And we've been here for three plus yeah, it, hours. It's almost six o'clock. <laughs> we left at like two. <laughs> so we're going to grab dinner and go back to the house. Because honestly, I'm looking. And the best looking place is literally right there. Yeah. They said it was like one minute walk. It's right there. What is it's it? It's a Japanese Oh. Um, okay. Restaurant. We're going to do Japanese food. But yeah, we, um, we bought way too many books. I didn't buy that much. I guess I bought some contemporary. I was going to say, I don't know if any of these things have been my reading mood that I've been reading yeah. recently. Like, not even a lot of them were off of my list of things that I was going to look for. But there's so many of them, so hopefully we won't be unhauling anything. Mm. Yeah, that's why I was saying in, in my vlog, I was like, I feel like we always get a lot of books, but I end up, like, unhauling them, because you just kind of buy books when you're really excited. Yeah. These are books I think I'll actually read. Yeah, And, like, I actually, agree. like... Yeah, we'll just have to go on book buying ban. <laughs> I haven't been on a book buying ban in, like, three yeah. years. You just stopped buying books for a long I time did. there. So... So book yeah. buying ban. <laughs> book buying ban. We're going to get dinner and probably spending more money. It's fine. <laughs> Kate, what are you doing? <laughs> dissecting my bubble tea. <laughs> Actually dissecting <laughs> my Bailey's bubble tea. tea. <laughs> Hanji Sung would be proud. <laughs> we just got to my house and we um wow. put all the <laughs> books on the shelf. And um so far this is mine. This is Kate, so hard. but you have all oh, of that's this. True, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I do. Gotta organize this. I also have a trunk full of children's books. Yes. So I would say sneak peek at the book haul, <laughs> book haul. I think but I think the book haul is going up before this will be. So um, this is the behind the scenes of the book haul, yeah. kind of. And we have one more bookstore to go to. Oh God! <laughs> it's three stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Good. literally full. <laughs> Good. Oh no. Breakfast. Do you see the clock over there? It is actually 9 a.m. and we're awake and doing things. We made hot breakfast. So yeah, we are planning on watching a bunch of things today. We have a K-drama crash landing on you to get through several more episodes of because they're so long. <laughs> and then we want to watch a lot of TXT. We want to film something. Oh, the read with me video. Yeah. So we're going to read at some point today. Some point. And <laughs> then Astro and Stray Kids also have shows that are coming out right now. So we figured we might as well start those with the time that we have taking today off from like going out into the world because it's gonna storm all day so here's hoping we don't fall asleep down in the basement essentially movie theater room <laughs> and actually caffeinate ourselves yeah caffeinate so, and what is the word to have sustenance of yeah. actual food <laughs> actually feed ourselves yes so we're gonna do a test of whether or not we're real adults today by watching like six million shows because that makes sense yep Hello, we just filmed a read with me. We watched three, three episodes of Crash Landing yeah. on You. It's fine. We're mostly enjoying it because the couples are great. I don't remember if I took this clip or if Kate took this clip earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
<laughs> Did he catch it? No, I hit him with it. <laughs> this is what's going on in front of me. Augie! <laughs> Henry and Augie starred in the Read With Me clips. <laughs> and then I am currently eating lunch, and we're probably going to go start something else. We want to watch In the Heights this afternoon. I think we're going to watch the new... Stray Kids episode of their show and then the two Astro ones that are out. Just to have something to do to decompress from attempting to read, which Kate failed at. <laughs> and I also, I read like maybe 50 pages of The Couple. I am really enjoying it. It's very interesting because it's basically based, I don't even know if I've said in the vlog yet, I've definitely said in my five star predictions that it's based on, in a world where being in a couple is very strange and being single is the norm throughout your entire life. And they have this dating app called Slide that is very similar to Tinder and they're trying to promote it more by making this drug that gets rid of people's feelings. And it's called oxytocin. Is that what it's called? Oxytocin, yeah. yeah. And they're just trying to make sure that people don't have feelings anymore so the dating app does well and it's very interesting the social commentary is very fun but yeah i think we're gonna go watch some oh! <laughs> astro and stray kids try not to give the dogs concussions and continue our watching things today we made a whole list of stuff that we wanted to watch because today is the day that we are not leaving the house at all i think we're gonna go book shopping again tomorrow it did thunderstorm a lot so it will probably continue to do so. But if we go downstairs, we won't be able to tell because it's literally like a cave <laughs> or a movie theater. <laughs> Are you vlogging on the ground? <laughs> yes, I will update you if we do anything else fun. But today is not the fun today. Today is relax day. context for things we <laughs> came up to make dinner which kate is once again being my housewife sorry to nico <laughs> and we're like a little over halfway through in the heights and i'm actually really enjoying it i wasn't sure at first but i also i learned that i apparently know everyone in this movie from something <laughs> like i know a lot of the broadway people there's a guy in it who has been my favorite character so far <laughs> so far his name is benny and he, he's also the part that Sungi played in the Korean version of In the Heights. And I know this actor that's playing him from The Walking Dead, which has been the most random discovery of the movie so far, but I really like it. It's very Lin. Like, okay. it sounds a lot like Hamilton in parts. Like, it's just his sound of a musical, which shouldn't be surprising because he's only written two musicals, and this was written back in, like, 2008, I believe. But yes, I'm very much enjoying the movie. Not that I didn't expect to, to be honest, but we're going to go finish it. And then we're probably going to watch K-pop for the rest of the night. Most likely TXT because we didn't watch any yesterday. And that's unacceptable. I miss them. <laughs> I do too. But yes, that is my In the Heights movie review so far. Hello, I did not update since last night. I don't even think I gave my full review of In the Heights. I almost said Hamilton, that's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Which I really liked it. The ending was very good. I thought it was very cute, very sweet. Anthony Ramos did awesome. Corey Hawkins blew me away. He was yeah. definitely my favorite character in it. Yeah, he was really good. <laughs> we both really enjoyed Lynn and Chris Jackson's yeah. little I was, I was honestly disappointed we get, didn't get more of them. Yeah, they were really, really funny. They were very cute. It was a nice moment for people who know who they are yeah. obviously Lynn had a lot of like little fun parts but I thought it was a good movie yep it's nothing compared to Hamilton no. as we keep saying we don't want to compare it to Hamilton but well, it's also by Lynn <laughs> but it's very cute I'm glad they made a movie out of it I don't understand the controversy that's another big thing that I just don't get it, even after watching it but you know um we are going to a bookstore today what else is new? We're going to try not to spend $300 this time. Try, try <laughs> we, not to. We're three, four episodes away from the end of Crash Landing on You. 
it's all right and it's still going fine the couples are very lucky that they're very cute and that's what's keeping yeah. us going but the bookstore we're going to today is going to be three floors and we'll see how much we spend and if we survive if we make it out alive <laughs> watch it be like one of those escape rooms <laughs> <laughs> accidental bookstore escape room but that is what we are up to today I think that's it. Is that all we have planned? Oh, we might go to Savers. Oh, There's a yeah, Savers yeah. up there too. Which, in my general area, we don't really have those, but apparently Kate I love does. Savers. <laughs> savers is great. I'm such a good vlogger. I literally went back and looked to see what my last clip was, and it was of the bookstore, which I made no comments on. Right, you didn't, you didn't buy anything. So we didn't buy anything because honestly, it advertised itself as a used bookstore, and almost everything was like full price Barnes and Noble price. So like even Barnes and Noble usually gives like ten percent, or they have like a clearance 20. section yeah, that's exactly. like very obvious and. No, that was not the case. Also, it was tiny and like a decent drive. So that was disappointing. But we ended up going out to Chili's. We had dinner and then we came back and watched. Did we only watch Stray Kids and TXT like videos? Yeah, we watched a bunch of Stray Kids music videos that we rewatched and then watched a bunch of TXT stages. And that's all we did last night. But we are on our last full day of Kate being here. So we are going to our last bookstore, which is just one in my town that I go to every once in a while, just to support them because they are also a tiny used bookstore. And that is our only plan today besides filming. We're trying so hard <laughs> to finish Crash Landing on you. <laughs> it's like, it's, we're forcing it at this point. Yeah, there's two and a half episodes? Two, no, just two and two three episodes. quarters? Yeah. Are we on the second to last one? We're on the second to last okay. one. Okay. The last one is two hours long. <laughs> yeah which i feel bad because parts of it are very good and very yeah. fun like we really like the little band of north korean men that they brought in back which i'm not going to give much more context than that was because of spoilers but it was just also uh at like the beginning there was one plot line that we cared about yeah. and then the rest we didn't give a shit about yeah. and now it's swapped <laughs> so we care about the other plot line but not the main plot yeah line. <laughs> So many people have like almost died. It's starting to lose the excitement yeah. of it. And when someone actually dies in that couple, of weeks, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so it like parts of it are very good. It's just very long, and I'm normally someone that doesn't mind long yeah. things, but this is really getting to me. <laughs> the episodes are just literally an hour and a half to two hours, and this last episode is going to be two hours long. So we're really just trying to force watch the end of this, and then we can do something else fun tonight on Kate's last day. <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna go. For film a book haul which is going to be absolutely massive <laughs> when that happens that i might actually take a while we should, we should count a lot of our books yeah, we should. that'll be a fun time hopefully we don't get a ton at snowball i've never gotten more than like three books at snowball i think i've only ever got one yeah when we went there. so that's what we're up to and that is our little mini review on crash landing on you so far as in we're almost done with it and it's still going <laughs> We just filmed our book haul and we are now trying to get all of the books out of my room that are Kate's because she is leaving tomorrow. And this is the full damage <laughs> of an entire shelf of books that I have bought in the last week or so. Yeah. So apparently I'm not buying physical books for a while. Somebody hold me accountable to yeah, that, please. please. actually hold each other accountable to this. You're like, when I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy this, you go, Kate, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Serious things are happening, lots of crying. <laughs> Love that. Everybody's really bad at lying. Yep. Still believe him that he doesn't care about me. Like, Wait, is she believing it? Yeah! Bro. <laughs> Thank you. You too. She just laughed. What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. 
I don't know why anyone does anything. <laughs> what happened? So he ate four bowls of rice with all of the women. <laughs> Update, we literally drove to Duncan while watching crash landing you on you on my phone, which is why I do not have the footage. I might get some of the footage yeah, because I'll send you some. it was hilarious. <laughs> so we are now on the last episode and it's two hours long. <laughs> So, hopefully we will have an actual review of this by the end of the evening, but we also want to do other things this evening. Please pray for us. This is the longest drama ever. <laughs> Good morning, I'm making coffee and Kate is leaving this morning and I'm sad. I will give a full crash landing on you review later. I literally just woke up because she has to leave early to make it back down to Georgia. And I'm sad. I will be here finishing up house sitting for the rest of the day though, mostly. Kate is leaving me oh, and she's hi. saying bye to the dogs who are very sad. Oh, we became such best friends. Oh, honey, you are so cute. I love you so much. I love you so much. Scooby's going to come back and be like, welcome home, Cheetah. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited to see how tiny Scooby is again. You guys are so small and Scooby's like a quarter of your size. <laughs> You wouldn't even let me hug you a couple of days ago. Yeah, I'll you too. You're cute. <laughs> you became my best friend later on, though. So we have had much time together. Henry's my bias. My bias <laughs> Is it a bias and a bias record? There's only two of them. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Oh, you're so cute. You're being such a good boy. Henry, let me say bye to Augie, too. Bye, Augie. Oh, yeah. I love you. Look at bad doggos. Not for Hey Hey, though. Hey Hey is staying here. Bam, 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 bam. Did you get uh, all the things? Huh? Did you get all the things? I think so. I think so, too. I actually checked. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Sad day. Sad day. Sad day for the doggos. Eh. I'm gonna be by myself. <laughs> the dogs are mad. They're literally staring at me. I literally went to press record to end this vlog and wrap up my thoughts on crash landing on you. And then I got a tweet notification. So I clicked on it and Astro just announced a second comeback for the year. And I can't scream about it, Kate, because she's driving and I'm upset. <laughs> First of all, if you don't know Astro, they are our old K-pop group. And they haven't done two comebacks in a year in, like, three years? Not since, like, their debut time when they were doing a lot of the season albums. And we just got a second comeback announcement four months after the first one this year, in 2021. I need time to process that and I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> but I will wrap up this vlog so I can go scream about that to someone online until Kate goes to a rest stop <laughs> and bring up my thoughts on Crash Landing on You. I really liked it. It is only my second K drama. I've only watched other one, one other one, and that was Abyss, which I adored. Like, I think that's gonna remain one of my favorite K dramas, even as I watch more of them. I did think Crash Landing on You was very good. There were just so many side plots to the point that it made the episodes too long and it dragged down the story. There were also so many flashbacks that kind of made it hard to keep track, especially towards the end. I also went into this knowing it was super overhyped and also being told that I would sob my eyes out and it wasn't sad enough. <laughs> Like, it was not nearly sad enough for me to actually cry. Like, there was some, like, emotional moments. But not, like, the sobbing mess that I thought I would be for the vast majority of the K-drama. So, I gave it a solid 3 out of 5 stars. If those, like, random side plots had not been part of it, and if 
the episodes hadn't been an hour and a half long. I think they were just too long. If they had been a normal K-drama length of like an hour long, it would have been like a solid 4, 4.5 K-drama. So that is my opinion. I know Kate also shared that opinion. She'll talk about it in her vlog. We filmed a clip this morning, but yeah, I enjoyed Crash Landing on You. I think it was just way too overhyped and a little too long episode wise. However, if there was a spinoff for some reason of the little troop of people from North Korea, I would 3000% watch that because I love them. <laughs> but yeah, that is my opinion on my second K-drama. Kate is currently driving back to Georgia. So like I said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to go scream about Astro having a comeback and try and process that information. So I hope you all enjoyed Haley Kate Time Vlogs. Thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys next time.